Hey there, everyone. I hope you're rocking today. In a previous video, I talked about the software I use for video production. Now, software is a huge part of the puzzle, but it is the equipment where it all starts and ends. From the cameras, to mics, to lights, to the computer. Now, I may not have the best gear, but I make what I got work. In this video, I'm going to talk about that equipment. But before I get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything you want me to talk about, just leave it down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. Having good, but not necessarily the best equipment is a prerequisite for video production on YouTube. I've been making videos for three years now with almost all the same gear. Now, there are minimum standards to a point that need to be maintained, but as long as you have a good camera and excellent sound, you got yourself a channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the gear I use, my thoughts about it, and what I want to do in the future. Let's jump right in. The first thing you need is a good camera. Now, it doesn't have to be a great camera, but it does have to be a good camera. The camera I use is a Zoom Q8, which I bought three years ago. I bought it for making YouTube videos and also for recording videos at rock shows. I record in 3M 30 FPS. It comes with an XY detachable microphone and two XLR inputs. The XY mic works for rock shows because it actually records pretty good sound on its own, and the XLRs are for videos like this. It has a touch screen and takes an SD card. I use a 32 gigabyte card and I've never filled it up, even when I've recorded entire shows when I'm playing music. Now, I also use these small 4K Ape Man cameras. I actually have two of them. I use them mostly when I record my rock shows and I've got these music arm brackets and they clip right in and then they clip on to an instrument and you get these great action shots. But those are the cameras that I use. The next piece of equipment is the mic, or in my case, multiple mics. The mic I'm using right now is an Audio-Technica AT2020 condenser mic. It's right above my head and I'm probably videoing it right now on screen. I've got a cable that runs overhead into the back of the camera. I've got two of these mics. Sometimes I use them for music recording. They're three years old now and they still work great. For voiceovers, I use a Snowball mic that is a USB mic that connects directly to my computer. The sound difference between the Audio-Technica and the Snowball are audible when I'm doing video production. And I try to tweak them as close as I can, but uh, if you listen very closely on one of my technical videos, you can hear me switching back and forth. The next piece of equipment I'm going to talk about is the computer. And just like in the case with my mics and my cameras, this computer is just a little over three years old now. So talking about the specs will be uh, a little bit antiquated. I can say that I've got 32 gigs of RAM, I've got a reasonable video card, an AMD processor, multiple solid state drives, but because it is older technology, even though three years really isn't that old, I can't handle 4K videos. Finally, I'm gonna talk about a few miscellaneous pieces of equipment. First off, the studio lights. I use two soft boxes with four 100 watt equivalent LED lights in each. As you can see sometimes, it drives me nuts on my, my glasses. It reflects it and I have to move my head around so it doesn't look like I constantly have this weird light in my face. I also have two pot lights right above that are shining behind on the wall here to try to eliminate a lot of the shadows. If you can see, there, there's the wall. And pot lights up there and if I've got the video going I'm sure in the pot lights. I also use my phone as a teleprompter and I have a clipped in right underneath my camera. All of my technical videos are completely scripted but ones like this I actually have to think about what I got to say and then cut it up later. The teleprompter app that I use actually allows for a Bluetooth keyboard to help control the scrolling of the words across the screen. Of course there's various other things like tripods, SD cards, I've got other camera mounts that I use all the time, extra batteries, but really that's a good overview of the equipment that I use for my video production. 
And that was the equipment I used for my video production. It's not the greatest gear, but it gets the job done. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.